Good morning everybody and welcome to the lesson with teacher Dave. So it's English today with teacher Dave and we will use the friends and family workbook. So the workbook on page number 54. So page number 54 of the workbook. 54. Okay and this is 54 so you should see an orangutan a big picture of the big orangutan okay so today we will read some facts some facts about the orangutan and then you can try and write your own uh, facts about the orangutan at the bottom so first the species, it's an orangutan, orangutan, and the species, so what type of animal it is, is the Sumatran orangutan, and what kind of animal is it? It's a mammal, an ape. Appearance, appearance, what does it look like? It has long arms, long arms and red fur. So you can see it has long red fur and long arms. Food, fruit, leaves and insects. Habitat, so where does it live? Habitat. Jungle, lives in the jungle and it lives in the trees. A threat. So, what is a threat to it? Something bad to have affected is a loss of habitat. So, loss of habitat means it will lose its place to live by cutting down the trees. Population. You should know what population means. Population is how many there are in the world. And it looks like 100 years ago, 100 years ago, there were 40,000. So 100 years ago, 40,000 orangutans. And now, 2014, there were only 6,000. 6,000. So, it is endangered because there are less and less orangutans in the world. It's threatened. Help! How can we help the orangutan? We can teach people about orangutans. We can plant some new trees. Uh, rescue any orangutans that are sick. And make some wildlife parks. Okay, so that's about the, the orangutan. At the bottom here, you can write your own facts. So pick out maybe three important facts about the orangutan. And you can also look on Google or look for some further information if you'd like to. But just give me some writing. Use the facts up here and write about the orangutan. And quickly, number two, we have some words here. Danger, population, introduction, help. And you should know what these words mean. Uh, so we can read the sentence and choose the best word. Here, the Sumatran orangutan is a shy ape that lives in the jungle. We can put the topic of the sentence. What is the sentence about? Uh, and that's the introduction. Number two, orangutans, no, organizations all over the world are trying to save the orangutans. What's that about? 
I think it is help. They are trying to help, trying to save. So I'll just read the sentence and try and guess what is it about. Okay, so once you have completed the writing about the orangutans, turn to page number 55, and it should be this page here, 55. At the top of the page we have some words, picnic area, free vent, aquarium, endangered, reptile house, Enclosure, wild, aviary. So you should remember what them words mean. If you need to look back through your books, that is okay. Uh, but we will select the right word into the right gap. So read through the text. We went to the zoo last weekend. It was great. We watched the dolphins and fish in the... So dolphins and fish are in the aquarium. Aquarium. And we saw lots of snakes and lizards in the... So where do you find snakes and lizards? Reptile house. Reptile house. Uh, let's just try one more. We took photos of the monkeys in there. Where do monkeys stay? In the zoo? Picnic area? Prevent? Aquarium? Endangered? Reptile house? Enclosure. So I think monkeys would stay in the enclosure. Okay, so your challenge today is to read the text and select the correct word for the correct uh, space. And you can pause, you can go back, and you can look at any time. So press pause. Okay, and if you have time, if you are feeling good and strong, just look at number two. Complete the sentence, use going to. And going to, we are talking about something in the future. I am going to sleep tonight. I am going to eat lunch soon. Going to in the future. Question one, Dave is at the sports shop. He is going to buy some new trainers. Uh, so he is going to buy. So Dave is just one. He is, he is going to buy. Number two though, we are at the wildlife park. We are, how many people? It's more than one. We are at the wildlife park. We, what do we say if there's more than one? It's not is. We are going to make a sandwich. So remember, if it's one person, Dave, he is, he's. 
If it's more than one, we say we are or we are going to. So in your books, try and complete the exercise. Exercise two. And when you have finished that, you can relax. And that's it for today. We'll continue more later and we'll go back if there's anything that we missed. So everybody have a good day and I will see you next time.